war coral. I have it on the bottom of my tank here. Um, this is a bare bottom. Well, it's supposed to be. Uh, the sand is kind of spreading out a little bit now, though. I um, bought a sand dweller grass, so I put a safe area for it to sleep in and uh, boxed in a bunch of sand in both corners of my tank and the dead spots uh, so he could sleep. But um, as he goes to bed, he fans it all over, all over the place and, you know, it gets all over. So that's why there's some sand here. Anyhow, I have it on the bottom just uh, to cover up the bare spot. And, uh, you know, I have several corals um, overtaking the bottom here. But uh, anyhow, we're talking about the war coral. So it's got these green eyes. I mean, they may appear yellow. Actually, some people see green, some people see yellow. It's kind of that in-between type uh, color, you know. And this is also sold as grafted war coral. Anything grafted is going to boost the price. Um, but in this situation, it's complete bogus. I mean, you can see I just bought regular war coral, and sometimes it gets this graft like look. Now, I'm not a scientist, I don't know what's happening, but that's just a normal thing the coral does. So. If you see a vendor selling grafted war coral, it's uh, just they're trying to boost the price on it. I just you see some really shady stuff, and you, it just makes you shake your head and you wonder how people you know, sleep at night. I mean, the I'll get into this later, but the whole teenius thing, uh, you know, the teenius craze. I mean, awesome coral, I love it. I want every single one still, and I understand the the hype. But with all the color changing and stuff people do with the filters and stuff, um, it's become the normal. And guess what? That's how I, how I uh, photograph my uh, teamius now because people have to know what they're getting. And if that's the standard, then I have to, you know, adhere to the standard. However, you know, I will give a realistic picture of what it's going to look like in your tank. You know, because I, I can't stand it when people come back and say, hey, listen... This coral looks a lot different than your pictures because you, you know what i've been new and i've been there um but i'm sorry i'm getting off on a tangent this is the war coral um it's on the bottom of my tank that's why it's spreading out the way it, um, it does it grows quick it's hardy uh, it's a decent um beginner hard coral um it doesn't send out huge sweepers, which is nice. You know, some of these LPS, they'll uh, send out some huge sweepers at night, and you'll, you know, you're in bed sleeping when it's doing it, so you know you have to give it a lot of room, and you may not even know that they send out the sweepers. But this one doesn't have it, so it's it's a, one of the ones I, I've actually kept, just because of that bright color. That's that's what everyone wants. People want that red. People want that yellow and and green you know contrasting center it's cool um also on the bottom of my tank here it's it's easy to frag up basically i just get the cutters down there and um here let me scroll out here so you guys can see my fingers i'll just jam them in there and then i'll cut like that and then a lot of times it'll just pop off of the glass just because it's such a flat smooth surface uh, that has nothing really to adhere to and um you know also like i'll just take one point of the cutters and i'll jam it in there and then i'll just drag it and then I'll, a lot of times that side sideways motion will um, make it come off there it's a great way to do it. Um, also, people will put them on tiles, like a giant, you know, tile the size of this, and they'll grow it across there. And then they'll just take a, a sawzall or a bandsaw, and then they'll just chop it up in a million pieces. And that's why, you know, you can get this coral at a decent price, because people mass produce it. It's just easy to do. It's not time consuming. I mean, I could chop up that whole thing in, in 10 minutes, you know, glue them down and then another 10 minutes 
and there in 20 minutes, you know, I'll have $200 worth of, worth of coral. Um, it just takes up a lot of space. You know, the, the one inch, uh, squares everywhere. It takes up a lot of space. So, I mean, whatever price you're asking, uh, they deserve it, you know? All right. Thanks for watching. Okay. So I just wanted to show you No, I mean, this is late at night. Just wanted to show that the war coral does not need much space. It's not sending the sweepers out. I read several sources that claim that it sends out three or four inch sweepers, which is uh, totally false. As you can see, well, you can't really see it, but there's just little tiny um, sweepers. But they're like two millimeters long, maybe. Not even that. So it's safe to put corals near it. Just proves that what you read on the internet isn't always always true, especially in this hobby, on these forums.